guys. I'm back with another little swipe today, just on one of these A3 cards, 30 by 40 centimeters. They're really good for practicing on. So I've just done this one. This one was three parts flow troll to one part paint, global impasto. Um, the cells are a little bit too big, a little bit too loose for my liking, so I'm trying again with a slightly thicker mix. 2.5 of Floetrol to 1 of paint. So 50 grams of Floetrol to 20 grams of paint is 2.5 to 1. The gold I've made a little bit thicker because the gold always tends to sink to the bottom so you need to make that a little bit thicker. So that's 1.5 flow troll to 1 of paint. Um, using coconut milk hair serum and because it's in that little sort of push bottle it's really hard to get drops out so I've just popped it into this little squeeze container. So I'm just going to do two drops in each colour except the white. White's the swipe colour. Won't put any oil in that one. So you can use coconut hair serum, you can use treadmill, silicone, whatever you like. Don't stir it very much. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And that's all. So we've got, for the global is Cool blue, light turquoise, a mixed turquoise with a bit of white, um, cool blue with black, gold and cobalt blue. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer the paints vertically and I want to overlap them because I want a little bit of gold in all the colours because it's the metallics that make the cells stretch, nice big cells. Just do this all the way up and down, up and down. Not sure how this is going to work with a thicker paint. That might not work at all. But it's just a little experiment. And I don't mind wasting these cards. I buy them in a pack of 100. They're 400 grams in weight, these cardboard sheets, recycled cardboard. So now we'll try a lighter colour. I kind of want to put a bit of it on the other blue and a bit on the side as well so that they're overlapping. And it's the layering of your paints that create the cells. The different paints have different densities, different weights. So the heavier paint is going to drop to the bottom. The lighter weight paint is going to come to the top. So it's always good to try and layer your colours if possible. So this darker blue going up here. I don't want as much of this blue. I don't really like it as much as the other colours. I won't use it all. The navy will give you the greatest contrast against the white. Being a dark colour it's always good against the white, light against dark, dark against light. It's always going to give you the best results. Put extra of this on. So it makes really pretty cells, this navy blue.
leaving a gap at the top for the white. The swap colour should be generally just a tiny little bit thinner than your other colours. And then we just drizzle the gold, not too thick, up and down, up and down. So a little bit of gold gets everywhere. As I said, it's the gold that makes those cells stretch. It doesn't look particularly nice when it's wet, it kind of looks beige. When it dries, it's really pretty. Just covering the card, making sure all the little gaps are filled. Trusty little swiper, a bit of plastic, A3 size, um, 30 by 40 centimetres, 12 by 16 inches. It's a document holder that I've cut up. So it did have a back and you can pop your papers inside and I just cut that up. I like using that, it's a good weight. And then you can just wipe it clean. white across the top, a little bit down the side, sides always seem to get missed. Okay, now I'll just pop that on the top, leave a little bit of room at the top so that you're not going to make your card bare at the top, not putting any pressure on. Just dragging, not pushing down at all. And then at the end, you can just clean your paint off like that into my little piddle pad. That's what these are. Puppy piddle pads. They're great, very absorbent. I find them better than newspaper. Wipe your little swiper clean and away we go. Now I'm not going to torch just yet. I'm going to wait and see what happens. I find that torching heats the paint too much and makes it sort of stretch. I torched this one. I probably shouldn't have. I told myself I wasn't going to but I was impatient waiting for the cells to come up so I torched and now the cells are all big. The heat makes the paint thin, makes it stretch, makes the cells stretch. I don't really like what's happened there but we'll wait and see what happens. The cells might grow together over that. The plastic mustn't have been touching it all the way there so it has, has lost contact there. So these cells are nicely shaped, I'm getting colours inside other colours. And I do prefer them, the cells to be separate rather than that, where they just all meld into each other. So I'll just have to wait and see what happens. I won't keep you waiting with me. I will torch a little bit just to hurry it up. It's not very exciting watching cells grow. Turn the blowtorch down. <laughs> it's a new can that I've just put on, so it always does that. You have to be careful. I always have a fire extinguisher handy when I'm pouring. You can see the cells popping up straight away. Let's do a little bit. I don't want a repeat of the last pour with too many cells. Go up here more where the paint's thicker, where the white's thicker. If your swipe colour's too thick, when it comes over, it's too thick and the, the um, oil can't come through. So that's made quite a big difference by torching. Let's see what happens. I 
If there's a section you're not overly happy with like this, you can swipe over it, but you will see that, that swipe, because the white will change colour, it will be more blue. So you'll have all white and you'll have this streak of blue and then more white. So I prefer not to, to do it if I can get away with it. Lots more cells popping up. Let's see if there's anything else under here. Up the top. Very impatient. Can't wait. We have to learn to wait and we have to learn to stop and not fiddle. Know when to stop, that's a difficult part. So I'm going to leave that. Over the next few minutes, the cells will continue to grow. Um, hopefully they won't grow as big as that. Um, the canvas that I'm practicing for is a 1.8 metre long canvas. And I'm thinking that the bigger scale of cells will probably look better on that giant canvas. So I may even stick to the 3 to 1 ratio two and a half to one makes smaller cells. I have done two to one and it makes really quite small cells so it depends on what you're after. The thinner the paint, the bigger the cells, the thicker the paint, the smaller the cells. But just remember that. Okay, I'll um, catch you next time. Bye!